There was a lot of competition here on the Paramount lot when auditions started two years ago for Star Trek Voyager, the fourth incarnation of Star Trek on television. Now, many actors were considered for the various roles. And to show you how that process works, we've asked a group of actors to recreate their audition for you. Now, out of this first group, I'm sad to say, only one actor was actually cast in Voyager. The others had to scramble and kind of do the best they could in the business. Captain's log, stardate 47259.3. Captain Catherine Janeway, commanding the USS Voyager. She is an untested ship with an untested crew. But I believe over time we will grow to work as an efficient and cooperative team. Are we going to fly this thing or are you just going to yak, yak, yak? <laughs> We're getting an order from Starfleet requesting we meet the Enterprise at Starbase 15. Help. Set a course for 11941 Mark 8. Well, sure, if you want to go the long way. <laughs> oh, no, we're not taking another one of your shortcuts. Last one, we followed your advice. We went through a tear on the time space continuum and wound up in ancient Pompeii. Well, we escaped, didn't we? Yes, and my brand new Romulan loafers were singed beyond recognition. <laughs> People, I need your focus. Uh, Captain, we have an unidentified ship approaching at bloody hell. She's really moving. <laughs> Commander, hail the vessel. Commander? Oh, in a second. Really? <laughs> Is he cute? He's an Alderbarian? Commander. Aren't Alderbarians the ones with four tongues? <laughs> Sounds like this Alderbarian is about to boldly go where so many men have gone before. I heard that. Hey, what do you know? They're hailing us, but it's not coming through. There's transmission problems. Well, that's the trouble with these modern starships. My day had a simple communication system. Didn't have all these fancy flashing lights and dials, but it worked. I know, I know. It just launched a tin can at the other ship and then pulled back until the string was taut. But it worked. Ooh. I believe I have an explanation, an explanation for our communications problem, Captain. While we were in port, I had them install a banality filter. <laughs> it keeps us from being bothered by any uh, messages that are overly insipid or jejun. Disengage the filter. Oh, I, I can't. I can't even get my phaser to stop flashing 12 o'clock. <laughs> Excuse me, Captain. Uh, members of my species are a bit telepathic. Perhaps I can use my powers to communicate with the alien vessel. Lieutenant, you're not from another planet. You're from England, aren't you? Shh, sh sh quiet. I'm getting something. It's coming through strong now. They want to attack. No, 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 no. It, it's not an attack. It's, it's more of a desire to embrace. No. Hold on. Captain, I believe they want to breed with us. Wait a minute. This isn't coming from out there. It's coming from in... Well, that was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm sure the captain has another plan she'd like to try. Well, why don't you fire a photon torpedo at him? What if they're a friendly ship? Well, then it'll be easier. They won't shoot back. Oh. <laughs> captain, I'm reading an energy source from the alien vessel. It's a transporter beam. We're being boarded. Red alert. <laughs> Oh, loud noise, headache. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Captain, I'm not sure I'm reading this instrument panel correctly, but either we have a malfunction in our left turn signal, or there's an armed Klingon on board the turbo lift. Shall we assume it's the latter? Does this belong to you? Hey, be careful with the dog. Come here, boy. We found him on the Klingon homeworld. He was digging up azalea bushes, and we've just re-landscaped. <laughs> Sorry about that, but let's take care of it. Well, yes. But next time it's intergalactic war, I vow we will destroy every molecule of the Federation. That seems reasonable. <laughs> see why we shouldn't have pets on starships. Well, you let her have a pet. She had that big hairy thing with the horns and the three eyes. That wasn't a pet. 
was a date. Anyway, it wouldn't have gotten out if somebody hadn't left the shuttle door bay open. Oh, no, you do. You're not pinning this on me. You can't expect me to pilot a starship and mind him. Computer, engage self-destruct sequence. What? what? Self-destruct sequence Well, if that engaged. isn't acting out, I don't know what is. Yeah. I don't believe this. Maybe it's all your Star Trek 30 and Beyond continues with salutes from John Larroquette, John Delancey, and a special musical performance by Kenny G. But first, more from the Trekker's Choice Awards. Starfleet officers aren't always prepared for every situation. Your favorite fish out of water is Scotty. Hello, computer. 